when Shino Carolina accepted her crown as Miss Japan. She didn't realize she had made a huge mistake. It was her dream, but as the spotlight turned on her and her most embarrassing secrets were exposed to the entire world, she had to accept the truth. She was set up by an incompetent company, and now her life was ruined. This is the real story of the most hated woman in Japan. This might not be what comes to mind when you think of a Japanese person, but trust me, Shino Carolina is as Japanese as they come. I'm talking rice and miso soup for breakfast levels of Japanese. She's been in Japan since she was five, so she's lived her entire life there, from elementary school to university. Japanese is the only language she knows, and if you don't believe she's fluent, listen to her gush over who's the hottest One Piece character. <laughs> <laughs> but as you could imagine, Carolina never really felt like she fit in in Japan. In elementary school, she was bullied for her big nose and blonde hair. Her whole life, not fitting in, always bothered her. Japan was her home. She wanted to be accepted as Japanese. So what if she became Miss Japan? But first, she had to meet the requirements to enter the contest. So what are they anyways? To be Miss Japan, you need to be between 17 and 26 years old. Carolina's 26. Check. Unmarried. Check and have Japanese nationality, which Carolina didn't have because she was born in Ukraine. So she quickly filed the paperwork and became Japanese just before the contest deadline. But there's something weird going on here. What is this? Isn't the contest supposed to be called Miss Universe Japan? Uh? Yeah, this is not the contest you guys think it is. Basically, in 1950, the Japanese government wanted to thank America for relief after the war, so they hosted a Miss Japan contest to choose an ambassador. They only did this twice. Then, 16 years later, this guy, Wada, has an idea. He wants to market his company, Wada Labs, so he revives the pageant and uses it to promote his new diet, Wada figuring where you only eat 9 foods and take a 45 minute bath once a week. He has no competition, so it works and he becomes the guy for dieting in Japan. Even Emperor Hirohito's wife, the Empress of Japan, went to him for advice losing weight. But Wada is a bit of a weirdo. In the 80s, he invents this device called a showerer, which you stick up your ass to clean your colon. And that's it. That's literally all the Wada company's ever done. I mean, look at their website. It has three sections. The Wada figuring diet, the showerer, and the Miss Japan contest. They still run the pageant to this day. It has nothing to do with Miss Universe Japan. Even the BBC got this wrong. It's a big difference. The WADA pageant is nowhere near as prestigious. I mean, they do like trash cleanups. When's the last time you saw Miss Universe doing a trash cleanup? The winner of Miss Universe Japan qualifies for the international pageant where they compete against the Miss from each country to become Miss Universe. <laughs> but the winner of the WADA contest? Well, that's it. There are no playoffs. The winner doesn't have to compete anymore, so the judges can kind of select whoever they want. Speaking of judges, this is where the corruption starts. There are 25 of them. The first seven are two members of the Wada family and their employees. Then the next seven have five public figures, one of which is this guy who refuses to get out of his chair. Murayama Naoyoshi <laughs> Honestly, big alpha move, I respect it. And then they have two past winners of the pageant judging. Seven from Team Wada and seven from the public. Feels a bit Wada heavy, but whatever. So who are the other 11 judges? Well, they're all representatives or CEOs of these random companies. Or at least I thought they were random companies until I checked the sponsors list of the pageant. Then everything became crystal clear. Yeah, the Wada family makes their money by selling judge spots at the pageant. Of the 25 judges, 18 of them have a conflict of interest. These sponsors want as many people to check out the pageant as possible, and that goes double for the Wadas. So crowning the only white contestant as Miss Japan is a genius business move. It's basically guaranteed to create controversy and make headlines all over Japan. By the way, Miss Universe Japan does not sell judge seats to sponsors. They only have seven judges who are all ex-winners or accomplished women from society. Maybe you don't buy it though. Miss USA, which is Miss Universe USA by the way, was won by an Asian woman in 2022. So why does Carolina's win need to be a WADA conspiracy? Is it really your skin color that makes you Japanese? 
Take Steve Aoki, for example. He's Japanese, but he's never lived there and doesn't speak the language. Konnichiwa, motherfuckers. We are in Fuku, Fukuoka. I can't read Japanese. It's not a bad thing, by the way. I'm Dutch ethnically, but I don't identify with that part of myself at all. But think about it statistically. When 7% of the US is Asian and Arbany Gabriel wins Miss USA, it's not the craziest thing in the world. But when Europeans make up this little of your population, so little that I can't even see a blue pixel here, we can say that Carolina's win was a bit of a statistical outlier. Out of the 2,500 women who entered the contest, is it really likely that Carolina won because she best represented Japanese values? Or is it more likely that the Wadas chose her in a short-sighted marketing decision? The worst thing is, it worked. Carolina Shino, who won this year's Miss Japan. But soon, the Wadas realized they made a huge mistake. But first, a message from our sponsor. Media bias is everywhere in today's world, and you can even see it in Carolina's story. The way I like to combat it is to use today's sponsor, Ground News, a platform that aggregates news headlines from sources around the world and shows you every perspective. For Carolina's story, there's more than 60 sources to look at, and you can see exactly how left and right sources covered the story differently. Not only that, the publications that reported the story are rated on their factuality by three separate organizations. They also show you which countries covered the story, which is good for me because I prefer to work with primary sources. One thing I thought was funny was The Telegraph directly translated this guy's name to Muscle Doctor, but I went with a different nickname, Dr. Chad. We'll get to him in a minute. Ground News is a Canadian company founded by a NASA engineer that's working to revolutionize news consumption. If you want to be more informed when you consume news, go to ground.news slash japanalysis. Right now, you can sign up for less than $1 a month or get 40% off the Vantage plan using my link. That's the one I'm using. Link's in the description. Thank you, Ground News, for sponsoring today's video. After Carolina's win became the hottest topic in the nation, tabloid magazines started prying into her private life. They put their best PIs on the case and prepared for a long investigation into- Nah, just kidding. They immediately found that she was having an affair. Wait, an affair? Isn't Carolina single though? Well, yes, but Carolina was caught on a date with celebrity plastic surgeon Maeda Takuma, and he's married. You might think, so what, that's his problem. But in Japan, it's not. Over there, if you sleep with a married person, you're at fault. And I don't just mean by the media. If you cause a divorce by doing that and you knew that they were married, you could be sued for up to $20,000. Luckily, Carolina had a good defense. Dr. Chad pursued her first and lied that he was already divorced. Or at least that's what the statement that her and the Wadas put out said. So, turns out, she didn't do anything wrong. And from there on, she lived happily ever after. Yeah, nobody believed that. And within a few days, Carolina was forced to make another statement where she told the truth this time. Yeah, she lied. She knew he was married and she kept seeing him anyways. And the affair had been going on for like three years. You can imagine the storm this caused. First, Carolina was immediately dropped from her agency. And then, Miss Japan stripped her of her crown. For the first time, the Miss Japan title was vacant. There was no Miss Japan 2024. Carolina, whose goal in the contest was to finally be recognized as Japanese, not only failed at that, the entire country now hated her. And Japan isn't exactly the easiest country for a tall white woman to lay low. Her punishment was pretty harsh, especially considering she isn't even the one who cheated. But it's par for the course in Japan, to the point where people who think their partner might be cheating are financially incentivized to hire a private investigator to gather evidence so they can sue. <laughs> I know this because some of my friends have done it and gotten paid out. Another reason people hire investigators is because in Japan, you need your partner's permission to get a divorce. Otherwise, you have to go to court. PIs give you evidence of adultery, which can help you get divorced. You want to know the craziest part? Famous white women in Japan get canceled for this all the time. You don't believe me? Meet Becky. Half British and half Japanese, Becky used to be on every TV program in the country. I'm serious. You couldn't turn on the TV without seeing her. But in 2016, Becky disappeared. What happened? Well, it was the exact same as Carolina. Tabloid magazines got a hold of chat logs showing a secret relationship between Becky and a massive Japanese rock star, Kawatani Enon, the lead singer of Guess no Kiwami Otome, a really famous band. Becky and Enon were getting pretty serious, and even though he had a wife, Becky says she was in love with him. He even took her to meet his parents. 
Of course, Becky knew Enon was married, so when the chat logs leaked, she had to lie and say they were just friends. But just like Carolina, that didn't work, and the truth eventually came out. In the end, she had to hold another press conference where she admitted to everything and apologized to his family. But it was too late. Becky was done. Enon, on the other hand, got off scot-free. And then, not even one year later, the exact same thing happened with another celebrity named Maggie. Half Canadian and half Japanese, Maggie also had a secret relationship with a rock star. And yes, he was married. Naturally, when their secret got out, Maggie faced repercussions as well, although nowhere near the level that Becky did. She now runs a YouTube channel called, uh, <laughs> Maggie's Beauty and the Speed? Oh, I get it, it's like Beauty and the Beast, haha. <laughs> But clearly something's out of whack in Japan when the women who were single are getting punished more severely than the men who cheated on their wives. They're not completely innocent, especially since in all of the cases they knew the man was married, but this Japanese phenomenon of the men getting off scot-free while the women have their lives ruined is a bit strange. In Carolina's case, people hated her before they even found out about the affair. Right after she won, people were already saying things like, maybe it'd be okay if she was half Japanese, but someone with no Japanese blood as Miss Japan? Okay, so let's say they got their wishes, and there were new rules that say you had to be born in Japan and have Japanese blood to win. Also, a lot of people blame Western beauty standards for biasing the judges to select Carolina, stuff like big eyes, double eyelids, and lighter skin tones that are popular in Japan. So let's say we want to select someone with darker skin this time. Even if they picked a Miss Japan who followed all these rules, the Japanese public still wouldn't be okay with it. And you know how I know that? Well, it happened. It happened back in 2015 when this lady, Miyamoto Eriana, won Miss Universe Japan. And do you think the public was okay with it? No. They had the exact same reaction they did for Carolina. She's not Japanese enough. You know, despite the fact that she was born and raised in Japan and has a Japanese mom. This time they demanded someone with pure Japanese blood. Who do they think they are? Draco Malfoy? You filthy little mob blood. Something funny is they tried to dig up dirt on her too, and the best thing that they could find is that she was smoking cigarettes in high school. Miyamoto was smoking underage and Carolina's cheating. Foreigners have such bad character. It's like, bro, are you kidding? These are like your national pastimes. If anything, it makes them more Japanese. So anyways, I think everyone in the story sucks. The Wada company sucks the most for putting Carolina in a difficult position for their marketing. Dr. Chad sucks for cheating on his wife. The Japanese media sucks, specifically tabloids, for holding women like Carolina, Maggie, and Becky to such high standards, while celebrities like Yamapi can get caught going to hotels with underage women and get off scot-free. Actually, in that case, the underage girl ended up apologizing to Yamapi for negatively impacting his career. Some people speculate that the reason the standards are so different is because the main consumers of this media are women, specifically housewives. When a hot rock star cheats with a single woman, they feel jealous of the woman but feel like they might have a chance with the man if he's willing to cheat. At least that's what my friends told me when I asked them why this happens. Honestly, Carolina sucks too. Yeah, she didn't cheat herself, but she was the affair partner of a married person. And she had to know that if she won, her secret was eventually going to get out. Oh yeah, remember this from the intro? A lot of people believe this, but it's a lie. Dr. Chad likes to enter muscle competitions. He actually won Best Body Japan in 2018. And he is a judge, but not for the WADA contest, for a different contest called Best of Miss Tokyo. Also, when people heard Carolina's affair partner was a celebrity plastic surgeon, a lot of people thought that it was this guy, Takasu Mikia, a plastic surgeon YouTuber. And he got a ton of hate online. Actually, he's the one who originally turned me on to the idea that the judges might be corrupt. So I started looking into the WADA contest and he was 100% right. ただそれは、あの、共産として広告出して、お金出して、で、審査員をやる。だったら誰でもお金払えばやれるじゃんって、え、そんなの見つこんだのって僕は思っちゃうんですよね。there's one unanswered question that I need your help with. Carolina has always maintained that the only language she speaks is Japanese. She was even asked about this on TV. She said she does not speak Russian or Ukrainian. But then how do you explain this? Is she a native speaker or is her Ukrainian really bad? I mean, I have no clue. Please, someone let me know in the comments. By the way, I've made a part two of this video that's actually pretty funny. It goes into more detail about Carolina's family, Dr. Chad, the history of the Wada family, and then it gives some updates on the Big Motor and Scammer Girl stories. It's completely free to watch, links in the description. Thank you for watching, thanks to my patrons, including Tier 3's Ethan Campbell, Jason That Artist, Manji-san13, NCR Trooper Scout, Wu, and Hana.